East vs. West. Come on up on USDS. Have fun at watching. Hello everyone and let's welcome you to another DCA Ice Hockey match between the DHC Gilroy and the best defensive in the league C4 The Warriors. Live here from our virtual HP Pavilion in San Jose, California. Second place versus last place. And now I see the players are already on the ice, so we are ready for the first face-off. Well, for the opening face-off in a few moments. And now they are finally giving gathered around and the puck is finally dropped and we are now officially underway. Looney takes possession at center field for the Seaford Warriors. Sides over to Kobe Jack Brewer. But due to the hip check in the, the center field, the Gilroy players were in possession for, for a moment, but now It will turn for the Seaford Warriors to make up a play. But then I lost it against one of the Gilroy players. Lusa Waffles over the right hand side. Oh! Finds his teammate and a great save. Huge, a huge save from Sensei Tai. Now Lusa Waffles. Lusa Waffles over the right side this time. Passes to Peter Korn, Ginger Falcone. Uh, Mia Falcone to Ginger Falcone and uh, what a save from Sensei Tai again. The save with his leg now, Jack Brewer. Jack Brewer over the right side. Has I for Looney in the middle. And he just fires it up and scores. First shot from the Seaford Warriors and the first goal from them too. Look at the replay. Jack Brewer has got the vision for his teammate Looney in the middle. No one attacks him and uh, he just fires it up and uh, nailed the puck into the right upper corner of the goal. Great finish. No chance to react on this one for Reginald Johnson. 1-0 lead for Seaford Warriors. Now Mia Falcone over the right hand side to Ginger Falcone. And the pass went out of nowhere, but they're back in possession. Mia Falcone lost it against Frank Bickle, an easy loss for Gilroy. Frank Bickle with a shot. Safe made by Reginald Johnson, now Lusa Waffles. So it's against Jack Brewer. Now do, 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 do his hip check, do, do his hip check, they're back in possession and... Um, easy one to save for Reginald Johnson, but the face off in front of his goal. And they won the draw. And Eddie Jones has a puck right now. March. Slides over to Wendy Plotsky. Jerry Martinez is now in the attacking zone. Finds Philip Rivera. Safe made by Reginald Johnson again. And Cornelius Jonesworth has got the puck. And that could be the... Big time chance to tie, to tie the game and he does it. Cornelius Jonesworth with the equalizer. Great defending effort against Joan Malone at the blue line. And then he has used the space and nailed the puck into the back of the net. No chance for Sensei Tai. Showing their able to come right back. He's done it with that goal. 
And now Bridget has won the pocket center feed. Garrett Delfino is now in the attacking zone. Garrett Delfino. That's not the lead because since I has saved the puck. Now Claire is now in the attacking zone. Claire over the left side. And, and there's Jolie with a rebound shot and she scores. Two to one. And that was a quick answer to the equalizing goal of a team of of a team of THS Gear a few moments ago. Yeah. First, uh, one of a giveaway player has blocked the shot from one of a Seaford player, but um, they've blocked the shot directly. They've blocked the shot directly to Jolie, and um, uh, she has used the wide open space and has said thank you and nailed the puck. Into the back of the net. No chance for Reginald Johnson. This time again. Now Wally Dingle slides it over to Pucci Magruda. Pucci Magruda to Mia Falconi. Mia Falconi with a St. Logan shot towards Sensei Tai. An easy one to save for him. Now Jack Brewer is now over the blue line. Jack Brewer. There's no plan to shoot, and Reginald Johnson has no problem to save it. Face off in front of his goal. Puck is dropped, and this time the um, team of Gilroy has won the draw. Mia Falcone. Clear down the ice, and um, referee blows the whistle. For icing, and it means that the face-off, that the face-off will start at the other end of a, of a field. Seaford has won the draw and ooh. That were a little bit dangerous for Seaford. Because of the fact that Seaford has selectly lost the puck after they won the draw. So it's Martinez. Clear down the eyes. Like one of the Gilbert players a few moments ago. Now Pucci McRuda. Pucci McRuda finds Connors Jones on the, on the other side of the wing. And directly lost it against one of the Seaford player. Now Cornelius Jones with another attempt. To combine a play through entire fields. They got stopped for a moment, but Ginger Falcone has fought successfully back for the puck immediately. Molly Dingle and Pucci Magruda. She has some space. The left hand side, Pucci Magruda. No one attacks her. But let's say from Sensei Ty Cornelius Jonesworth. To Pucci Magruda. And that's finally the end of the first intermission. The Seaford Warriors are lead up by 2 2 1. Huh? Yeah, Gilroy, um, after Gilroy has met a, has made the equalizer, the T4 Warriors has directly made the answering goal a few seconds after the tie. Yeah, and um, that's why they are now on the lead with 2 to 1. And um, the statistics are. Are equal right now. 
as I see in the statistics. Both had 50% in the face of statistics, both had three hits, and both had the same shots on the goal right now. Yeah. Could be an, 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 an interesting matchup for the last two intermissions. And speaking about the, the last remaining two intermissions, we're now heading to the second intermission right now. And the second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Now Jack Brewer with a shot towards Reginald Johnson. But easy save for him now. Mia Falcone on the other side of the rink. Mia Falcone. Shot gets blocked by Kim Crawford. And the Warriors are getting a, ho a hooking call against them. Jack Brewer, because of hooking, has reviewed the footage. Yeah, that's definitely the case. He's hooked the head of his opponent with his stick. So, the hooking call is justified. Definitely justified. And um, since that eye has made. A great save, by the way, a few moments ago, so face off in front of his goal. And um, due to that, uh, the team of DHC Gilroy is now in power play. It means that they are in majority. Mia Gilles Valconi! Glove save from Sensei Tai. So it could be a chance for them. To brought the game back into even. And they have won the draw again. Wally Dingle to Cornelius Johnson. Push it back. Ruda! Shot cuts blocked. And that's the tie for the team of DHC Gilroy. Ginger Falcone has made the equalizer. Let's review the footage. Yeah, after they have won the draw, one Seaford player has blocked the shot. From Cornelius Jones, with I think, but um, they've got immediately back in possession, and um, now, and after that, he's got a great vision. To a, to a team at Ginger Falcon on the other end and she has used the space in order to nail the puck into the back of the net and yeah to the defenders they were a little bit too far away from her so um, that's why she has used the chance Made the puck into the goal, but now we have five on five on the ice again. Now I'm thrilled to see the reaction from the Seaford Warriors after the tie for now. They have disrupted play from Gilroy in their own zone. Looney has the puck, he shoots, scores! And the result is now 3 to 2 for the Seaford Warriors. They have successfully worked for the puck in their own zone. And they're now back in the lead, defeated two. They were a bit of luck, if I'm, if I'm honest. At least they've made the leading score. And now, Gilroy has won the face off. Philip Rivera takes the back off of him, and the four to two is coming within seconds from Joan Malone. What the hell of a merciless behave! from the Seaford Warriors in the today's game. And it seems a team of FPC Gilroy has got 
the difficulties right now to deal with that kind of play from the Seaford Warriors. They're faster and more aggressive than Gilroy right now. And now, Cornel Shawnsworth with a breakaway. He's all on right now. He isn't capable to outplay Sensei Tai. It's pity. Because that were a huge opportunity to shorten the result up to 4 to 3. Face off in front of his goal from Sensei Tai. Now they have won it. Frank Bickel is on the left side. So for Joe Malone in the middle. But Shotguts blocked this time from one of the Gilroy players. And that was really important. Now Bridget, what a mistake! And um, Bridget, who wasn't capable. To use the benefit of a wide open space. Now Bridget. Georgia has intercepted pass in a back end position. John Malone snakes the puck in, uh, at the board. Philip Rivera to Robert Wasabi. Frank Bickle with a shot and safe made by Reginald Johnson. Now Bridget. As the puck slides over to go the field on the other side of the wink. Leg safe by Sensei Tai. In with a goal from Sensei Tai. Royal. Steal the puck off of him. Dale Davis. A huge chance to show up the result to 4 to 3, but the safe way huge from Sensei Tai from once again. Now Milton Krupnik. He's now in the attacking zone with the Krupnik. The Krupnik, what a mistake! From a Gilroy defender. And that. We're chance on a silver tray for Milton Krupnik. We were incapable to use the to use the benefit of a of a wide of a wide open space. And now Looney. Lost the puck against Bucci McLuder, Coach Cup. Milton Krupnik sees the puck off of him. Milton Krupnik has an open lane to shoot. And Russian Johnson has stopped it. Now Milton Krupnik, they're back in possession. Rebuild by the Seaford Warriors. Looney has fine Corey Brewer on the back. Uh, Jack Brewer, sorry. And now the team of the HC Gilroy is getting a penalty violation. And they got two penalty violations at the same time. One of interference and the other one because of hooking. Well, that was definitely the case so um, good decision by the ref you asked me and now the Seaford Warriors are in power play five uh, are on five on three power play and now the team of FDHC Gilroy is getting another penal another penalty violation Two minutes for boarding. Let's review the footage. Oh yeah. And that was uh, rough behavior from Loser Waffles. Yes, just push him on the ground and. Uh, he wasn't even in possession of the puck, at least. He wasn't even in possession of the puck. It's, uh, it's for sure. But now the end, um, the Seaford Warriors are still 
are now on on a two man advantage. Now Peter Korn. Peter Korn lost the puck. It's one of the Seaford player. Robert Wasabi to Joe Malone. Robert Wasabi looking for open lane to shoot. But Wasabi and he scores! 5 to 2 right now for Seaford Warriors. Robert Wasabi. What a nice strike from Robert Wasabi from behind. No one feels, res feels responsible for him. He has, he's got so much space. And he's nailed the puck into the left upper corner of the goal. No chance to react for Reginald Johnson. And um, yeah. I have to say that DHC Giroy is getting got creamed in the in the second frame. They now trailed up by three goals. And um, yeah, about Seaford Royals, they, they've got everything under control and um, yeah, they're now in the lead with a face of statistics, 57 to 42% and the shots on the goal are 18 to 13. Yeah. Let's see if they can keep up their domination in the last intermission. Yeah. And speaking about the last intermission, we will reveal whether the Seaford Royals can keep up the domination in the last deciding period. So let's get into it. And like I said a few moments ago, the team of Gilroy, it, it looks like that the team of Gilroy is getting is getting creamed right now in their own home, home in their own home rink yeah. it's, um, it's maybe a little bit disappointing for the team of Gilbert right now thank goodness I'm not in their shoes now because if I were in their shoes, I would feel rather unsettled. That's for sure. But now, let's get focused on the game. See if Royce has won the draw. Robert Wasabi to Jack Blua. Slides it over to Robert Wasabi. Jack Blua again. And safe made by Reginald Johnson. Getting ready to take advantage of the power play coming up. Well, face in front of his goal. See if draw again. Eddie Jones. Kim Crawford. Kim Crawford. Milton Krapnik. And the puck gets rejected by the post. But now rebuild from... The Seaford Warriors. And... They've missed... They've missed... The, if Milton Gromer has missed the left goal post by... Justin Inch a few moments ago. He hasn't scored a goal yet, the Seaford Warriors, but um, they're keeping up the pressure against, against Gilroy. And now Ginger Falcone over the left side. Ginger Falcone deeks it against Joan Malone. But in the end, Milton Kropnik has blocked the, has prevent the shot on the goal. And now we've had Looney to Milton Kropnik. You chef for Merchant Johnson, but Milton Kropnik gets the puck again. Rebound shot, scores. 6 to 2 right now for the Seaford Warriors. And look at the crowd. They're really quiet. 
because most of the viewers in HP Pavilion are left in shock right now. And the Seaford Warriors fans are celebrating the domination of a DHC Gilroy. It's finally the death blow for them. And when DHC Gilroy of that, that's for sure. And yeah, it seems that they keep up the domination against DHC Gilroy. They now lead up by four goals. And there are only 13 minutes left in the third period. And it will be difficult for the team of Gilroy to make four goals in the last 12 minutes right now. But now Dale Davis is in possession, tries to flick. That weren't even near the, the right goal post. But now Peter Korn! A shot towards the goal, but easy save for Sensei Tai. Now Philip Rivera. Sends over to Kim Crawford. Lost against Dale Davis. What a mistake! It could be. Chance to short up the goal to, to 6 to 3, but not with a shot like that. He was in front of his goal, Garrett Delfino has snagged the puck at the box. Shot from behind and stick safe by Sensei Tai. Now rebuilt by the team of Gilroy, Wally Dingle to Coach Karp. And Philip Rivera prevents the shot on the goal, prevents the shot towards the goal. Now Frank Bickel is in the attacking zone, Coach Karp. Stick the puck off of him, Cornelius Jonesworth right now over the right side. He digs it and get passed against one of his Seaford player, Coach Karp. And lost the puck against Frank Bickel. Gerald Delfino. Didn't get past the puck against Joe Malone, but uh, back in possession. Coach Karp. Wally Dingle. Just fired it up from behind. And has only missed the right goal post by a few in, by just an inch. It was... The shot were not that bad. But the miss is as good as a mile, as you certainly know. Now Cornelius Jonesworth to Bridget. Bridget. Kicks the puck to the back. To his teammate and... Uh, the shot from um, the problem for Sensei Tai. Now Philip Rivera got hip check from Peter Korn. And the Seaford Warriors has prevented breakaway. As finally... The success will prevent the breakaway. Now, Philip Rivera. Save my brother Watson Johnson. Face off in front of his goal. And they have won the draw. And it just fires up from behind. Why not? But. Uh, That attempt were, were not a problem for us. Reg, Reginald Johnson. Loser waffles with, with a shot. And the swing and the miss for him. Now Looney. Looney, Ginger Falcone. Sack the puck off of him. To Mia Falcone, Ginger Falcone. Looks for a receiver, finds Eddie Coletti. Mia Falcone, it, it could be a chance for a shot, but... She didn't even try it. Uh, she, she didn't try it. Sorry. And now we've got another penalty violation, Jack Brew, because of roughing. And um, <laughs> what a fail! They have showed the penalty violation from Lusa Waffles. What a fail!
And that's finally the end of the game. 6-2 to two for the Seaford Warriors. And yeah. At the end, I have to say that the team of DHC Gilroy got creamed at their, at their own home rink. They hasn't stand a chance against Seaford Warriors in today's game. And um, yeah. Yeah, what should what should I say ex except of congratulations to the Seaford Warriors for the dominating performance against the team of DHC Gilroy and they've just they've just they've just showed us in a merciless behave. A wonderful goal from Reginald Johnson. They've. Use their, they've used their space mercilessly. And didn't know any mercy in the today's game, that's for sure. Yeah. And, um, yeah, by the way, the victory for the Seaford Warriors is definitely, is definitely deserved and, um, Last but not least, I will put the sets from our Disney Ice Hockey teams right in the video. And yeah, if you're interested in it, you have to stop the video at this point. Take care and goodbye.